Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. By the time you landed on this video, probably you a school administrator or a director of a school looking for a school management system to help you streamline processes. Guess what? In this video, we're going to be digesting Uganda's finest school management software. This is a software that has been adapted by thousands of schools in Uganda. So in this video, we're going to be having a quick review of the live demo. We shall have a look at some of the features that it holds, and I'll give you one or two reasons why you should actually opt for this software. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have something to say, leave it in the comment section. And by the way, don't forget to smash that like button. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in actually logging in as a super admin so i'm having access to every single aspect of the school so in that case if you're the director definitely this is how the, your dashboard will be looking like to show you uh, the different aspects of your school yes yeah, so um so we have here uh, uh quick numbers to help you understand how the school stands uh, when it comes to enrollment you're able to know exactly how many students you have in uh, the school uh, for that particular term and year so uh, we don't stop at only uh, managing information about students we also have where st uh, staff information is also managed yeah enrollment per class here you're able to know graphically uh, how many students are in the different classes uh, we also on the other hand we have the fees collection graph so the system doesn't stop at just managing information about students we also go forward to uh, track fees payment so uh, here uh, the graph is in position to show you exactly how much has been collected so far and how much is uncollected yeah as you can see uh, as we shall see later on uh, the system has a number of payment integrations apart from um, yes those are those that, that is uh, if money is paid in the bank that will be showing up directly in the system here and at the same time if uh, you not having any option any other payment options however probably at your school currently you're handling cash yes we shall see later on where the bus is actually to do that from yeah uh, we also have some critical numbers here how much is expected so from glance you're able to know exactly how much you're going to expect for that particular term so this number uh, comes uh, as a result of the number of students that are in the system and also the fees uh the the fee structure that is actually set and the other is about uh, how much has been collected so if you want to balance off what is in the bank versus what the system is actually calculating you can always come here and you know exactly the figure definitely in the bank you'll be able to reconcile what is actually there yeah so we also have uh, bursaries categorized independently because this is an expense uh, to the business to the school so this is revenue that will have been give, gotten uh, however you decided to give it out in bursaries so you need to know exactly how much is in bursaries and if you want to go forward to see which students in particular have those bursaries you'll also be able to do that so we have links here on all these cards so you can always click on it and go to uh the specific um report that you need to uh, have yeah fees exemptions so those are like discounts you find in schools that okay we have a fee structure however different students uh different students pay differently probably uh someone was given a discount or something like that so that will be also categorized in exemptions and still if you want to have a look at uh, specifically students that are having exemptions in the school you simply click there and you'll be able to see that as well so uh, we have a bunch of graphs here that still detail uh, that gives you an overview of how the business how the school is actually performing yeah um so that's a quick snapshot about the dashboard and up here we also have what you call system reports yeah so uh, uh the system uh is organized in a way that we compiled a number of uh reports any business director or administrator would really love to benchmark on and see how the education institution is actually performing so on on the first on the left hand side we have student performances we have a, now a number of reports here to help you uh, benchmark and see how um the report how uh the students are performing and the other is about fees uh, uh fees reporting we have a bunch of reports here still uh and then on the other hand we also have financial statements yeah so we shall have pro if time allows we shall have a quick review of some of those as well however that is uh, the dashboard and the reporting system that is in school monitor yeah on the other hand we have students management this is basically where we manage students information straight from adding students information into the system yeah so this is replacing the physical um the physical forms that we feel when we're entering our students information so basically here you capture information about the student parents information the rest yeah and we also have what you call um 
students profiling so in the system uh, it creates what we call a student profile every student that is entered into the system will have a profile definitely that will be having information about every single student so let's have a look at uh, one of the profiles here let me look for Emmanuel I went forward to actually create a profile for myself yes um, yes this is Emmanuel Wambazo in primary two yeah, so uh, once we click on that, it will bring us to the profile. This is how the profile of the student will actually be looking like. So uh, if you added a photo of the student, it will be showing up there. Uh, their bio data, uh, students' registration information, parents' details. So all this information can be updated from time to time. Yeah, so we don't stop at that. If the student probably has any achievements or awards, definitely if there's any information that has been captured there, it will be showing up. Uh, likewise, when it comes to responsibilities, medical information, the rest goes in on. Yeah, so uh, that's it, uh, basically. Uh, the other uh, uh, key uh, factor or key uh, feature about School Monitor is what we call the fees ledger. Let me open this in a new window. Uh, basically, fees ledger is, uh, is like a mini statement that shows how payments of every single student uh, are actually coming through. So uh, regard this as like... Um, a, 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 let's say uh, an account if you have an account in the bank you can always go and request for a bank statement to show how money has been coming to your account like where it's going so that's the same thing that every student that is entered into the system the system will go forward to create an account for them and this account uh, uh, on the and from this account every payment that is actually made it will be logged on the ledger yeah so it will be showing us the debt when the payment was done when the receipt uh, which will ha it will have a receipt number this is the number that was used for tracking uh, uh, any kind of payment like that what was the payment for what was the amount and the list goes on and, on. and every pay uh, any any receipt that was printed we shall keep a copy of this so this way we shall be eliminating uh, things of writing physical receipts yeah so from the time the student actually enters the school until they leave the ledger will always be updated so that's one key uh, factor about uh, uh students profiling so let's go back to uh, uh to our profile still um the other aspect we can look at under students management is uh, you can add photos enrollment summaries yes and guess what uh, school monitor is having a partnership with school pay whereby that all oh, for schools that are registered with school pay you are able to upload student codes direct into the system and that way uh, there will be a, an integration with your school pay account such that all payments that are done via school pay will be synchronized directly in the system so this way you're able to uh, upload school pay codes probably that is at the start uh, maybe if uh, there are some students that didn't have uh, where when you're uploading the students information you did not add school pay codes this way you're able to do that from yeah um so you're able to update student liens those are uh, learners identification numbers issued out by the ministry uh, the other is about also parents information so every information that we enter about our parents will always be showing up here so you'll be seeing the name of the parent their contacts and even the students that they have in the school so uh, that's a quick snapshot when it comes to students management now let's head straight to the bus's office yeah as you can see um the system is actually encompassing all aspects, all departments of the school. So what happens is, uh, we shall see later on, is that the system will be uh, a role best that, okay, we shall be giving uh, uh, different uh, uh, different people or different departments uh, into the system. We shall manage what they see and do in the system using what we call permissions. I think we shall see that later on. Yeah, so let's head to the bus's office. Here, it all starts with uh, adding fees payments. Now, for schools that are not having, let's say, bank payments and uh, literally uh, maybe uh, number one you're either paying cash these uh, parents come uh, to the bus's office and pay cash directly to the busser so we're going to eliminate uh, issues of writing physical receipts with this particular module here so add fees payments so supposing a student has uh, a parent has come wants to pay money for a student to simply come here now this is the buser doing this all this work so it's just a matter of coming here typing the name of the student let's say it's, we are going to use stella in primary two that's uh, stella we're going to be paying money for uh, we shall uh, need to select the date of payment maybe it's actually today put in the amount of money that is being paid let's say we're going to pay five hundred thousand. Yeah, so once that is done, come here, save. 
So once we hit save, the system will take us to what we call fees breakdowns. Yeah, in schools, definitely we're not paying a lump sum. However, we're paying small, small fees for the different breakdowns. So here, this is where we're able to break down this money from. So um, let's suppose uh, uh, maybe the student is going to pay for maybe some swimming uh, swimming lessons. That is 50,000 out of the 500,000. Uh, maybe he's also going to... Um, is she's also going to be paying are we going to pay for maybe uniforms maybe uh, supposing she's a new student uh, let's say uniform 120,000 and then we can say the rest of the balance can actually go uh, can the rest of the balance can actually go for school fees there so once we've broken down our money we can head forward to select the payment uh, mode how did this money come to the bus's office maybe it was cash or whichever so here i'll come i select the payment option probably it's cash however on the other hand if uh maybe the parent paid money in the bank and they're simply presenting a bank slip uh, definitely we shall be able to select the bank where the money was paid and once it's the bank we shall have a reference number where we're able to put the reference number that comes with the bank slip so once this is done come here and click save so this is all work for the uh, for the BASA. So once we hit save, automatically the system will go forward to uh, generate a receipt, a receipt that will be uh, printed off and given to the parent or guardian. So the receipt will be having information uh, exactly what has been paid, what's the balance, and now, okay, so as you can see here, uh, it seems like this student actually doesn't have any previous debts, any balances. However, he has some money in excess. So that also is catered in school monitor that if a, sp if a parent actually pays more than what they're supposed to pay for that particular term, that will be uh, automatically pushed onto the excess account such that next time when the student comes back, we're starting off from, uh, from the money that was in the excess. So that's the receipt that will be printed out um, and given to the parent. However, the system also goes forward to send what we call payment uh, notifications. So immediately the parent will get a payment notification on their phone uh, showing how much has been paid and uh, definitely what's the balance. So meaning if a parent has not actually come at the school, however, sent a guardian that, okay, go pay money for my daughter at the school so immediately the parent will be in position to get a payment notification on their phone so meaning if this money didn't reach uh, the school or half of it was actually reached uh, was the only half of it was just deposited definitely the parent will actually know so that's it with payments um here we just redirected to this particular class and their fees uh, different fees breakdowns or something like that yeah so um that is it when it comes to fees, uh, fees, uh, fees breakdowns, uh, sorry, making payments. So we also have options whereby you're able to, uh, to make uh, bus manage bursaries, uh, manage exemptions. Uh, we, we were able to set the fee structure. So how will the student, how will the system be in position to, uh, to, to build the different students in the different classes? So we're able to manage that there, school pay transactions. So immediately once the system, uh, you, you enroll to, to school monitor and you're using school pay, uh, that integration will happen and all payments that are coming through via school pay will be showing up. Here. And if you need to get a report, probably that can also be done here. That is a school pay uh, transaction report, whereby you're able to see all the payments that have actually come through via school pay. Yeah, so uh, the other aspects still uh, under fees payments, we have uh, previous balances. Yes, yeah, so if you entered in your term and you need to know who actually went with the money for the previous term. Yeah, simply come here, select the term, the class, maybe it's primary one. You search. So the system will bring you all students in that particular class and their previous balances. But as I said, we also have the account for the excess. That, okay, if a parent pays more than what they're supposed to pay in that particular term, the system will go forward to accredit that money on the excess account. Yeah. Uh, the other aspects see we can look at still under fees payments. We have uh, fees reminder SMSs. 
yeah so um literally how this works is that uh during uh maybe the course of the time we may need to send our fees reminder sms's to our parents how we go about that simply go to a fees reminder sms's select the class you want to send messages to let's say it's primary one select the time let's say it's going to be time two the year 2024 and you select a criteria now the system will go forward to send a message to all those people that have not reached this specific criteria now for our case we saying let's say it's going to be a percentage if you put in let's say 50 percent that means the system will pick out students uh, that have not paid up to 50 percent and those are the parents that will actually get an sms reminder yeah so once that is done um you can simply click send and the system will go forward to fill that out and then those parents will be able to get fees reminder sms's yeah so that's it when it comes to fees payments other modules in school monitor include uh, the academics module this is where you're able to uh to enter teachers will be able to enter marks into the system actually even using their phones and at the same time you can always go forward to uh to generate report cards directly as you can see this is a sample of a pro of uh, of a report card uh, let's hit print and see how it would look like on print um yeah so once you select that uh, to open a new window for us here let me say i'm going to print only one page for our case so that uh, to save time you're just going to print only one page yeah so this is how the report card will be looking like so it will have the photo of the student information about the school the badge and the rest so we're able to manage different exam sets in the system as you can see for example here we're only having three but you can add or even remove some so the system will go forward to uh, calculate the average the grade then the the comments according to the performance so in this particular class definitely we hadn't added any marks but uh, this will be populated automatically once teachers add marks into the system so this team will go forward to gen to calculate the average the total the aggregates uh, the aggregates the division and the list goes on and on so that's how our report cards will be looking like so uh, for primary we have both uh, uh, primary and uh, also the nursery section we also have the nursery section um, part of it where we're able to uh, generate report cards for nursery as well yeah so um yeah to just uh, to save time i think i'm just going to go wrapping through some of the other modules however i'm going to leave a link in the description below that heads you straight to the school monitor website yes yeah, so if you want to get detailed information about the system the pricing and uh, yes definitely you love to have an in-depth demo of the system as well please go forward go to school monitor the school monitor website i've left a link in the description below yes request for a demo and i'm sure the sales team there will be in position to reach out to you and uh, give you whichever information that you may need yeah so other modules we have the accounting part of it uh, yes that is already there we have school budgeting so if you happen to manage you uh, your school definitely has a school budget you can always come here and uh, make uh, uh, set the school budget set uh, set uh, uh, expense projections set financial periods and all that um you're able to we also have some new features for example the front desk uh these the expense module whereby you're able to track uh expenses you're in position also to make requisitions in the system as well so uh, no no more need of actually writing requisitions definitely in the system here people will be in position to make requisitions directly and all that will be uh the people who have who are in charge who need to take action on these requisitions those those people can be or can always go forward to uh, to take the necessary actions here yeah and maybe for other expenses that don't require requisitions we have somewhere here where you're able to do that from there as well yeah we have um, staff payroll as i said staff management can also be managed in here if you have a sick bay you can um, record uh, this is specifically for the nuns uh, assets uh, inventory and so many more so uh for the matter of time allow me to stop here uh if you've gotten value from this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you love to get more information about the system and you love to get a detailed uh review of the system with the team at school monitor please head forward to school monitor the school monitor website i'll leave a link in the description below and request for a demo i think that's it for now if you've gotten value from this video please give my video a thumbs up and if you find uh if you have something to say leave it in the comments section.